Imagine a satellite made not of metal but of wood. A material traditionally associated with forests and trees is being tested in one of the most extreme environments in the universe, the outer space. But what could a wooden satellite possibly offer to the future of space exploration? Watch this story for more details. Since the launch of Sputnik 1 in 1957, satellites have always been made of metal. But now Japanese scientists are testing an alternative. They are working on a wooden satellite. On Monday night, a SpaceX Dragon cargo capsule carrying a model of the world's first wooden satellite launched from the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. Named LIGNOSAT, the satellite is developed by Kyoto University and Japan's Sumitomo Forestry. LIGNOSAT's design is simple yet pioneering. It's a 4-inch cube made primarily of wood along with small plastic and silicon parts. The satellite reached the International Space Station on November 5th and will serve as an early test of using timber for space missions, including potential lunar and Mars exploration. After the satellite is released from the International Space Station, there are several tasks that need to be completed. First, the antenna must open after 30 minutes. If the antenna fails to open, signals cannot be exchanged. This is the first and the most important thing. Next, we need to see whether the solar panels will generate electricity properly. If successful, electricity will be supplied and we will be able to obtain signals. These are the first two missions we would like to accomplish. The satellite will be released into orbit 400 kilometers above Earth in the coming weeks. Lignosat, named from the Latin word for wood, underscores the potential of wood as a sustainable space material. The environmental benefits of a wooden satellite are the key motivator behind the unique innovation. When metal satellites re-enter Earth's atmosphere and burn up, they release pollutants like aluminium oxide that harm the ozone layer. In contrast, burning wood produces mainly water vapor and carbon dioxide, making it a much cleaner option. The satellites currently in use are usually made of aluminium which produces aluminium particles when re-entering the Earth's atmosphere, causing pollution to the atmosphere. Therefore, our proposal of this wooden satellite to the world means that we can develop space in an environmentally friendly way. Regardless of how many wooden satellites we create in the future, we are suggesting a new path for space development. If successful, the LIGNOSAT project could inspire new uses for wood in space. To find the best wood for the mission, the scientists tested three types of wood – birch, cherry and magnolia. We cut the lumber and make it into board materials and then process that. This takes about a month. After that, we assemble the boards and inside we install electronic circuit boards. It takes about a year to put them together and test them. In 2022, these samples were exposed to harsh space conditions, including extreme temperatures and cosmic rays, for eight months at the ISS. Once deployed, Lignosat will be in orbit for six months, where scientists will observe how the wood handles the intense conditions of space, with temperatures swinging between minus 100 to 100 degrees Celsius every 45 minutes. The experiment will also measure the geomagnetic field inside a wooden structure and track the wood's expansion and contraction in orbit. Looking forward, the team envisions using wood on larger satellites and even in space structures beyond Earth's orbit. Mm -hmm.